Hi, this is Paul from TradeTheFifth.com and this is my daily stock signals video for Monday the 10th of December. I want to do something a little bit different today and we'll start to mix things up a little bit. I want to look at Facebook here. This is the hourly chart. You see the, the channel that I've drawn in here. This is part of my new core trading strategy course which will be available very soon. Now, I've drawn the channel in here. This is from the daily, but now that we're at the 60 minute time frame. We can see how Facebook, this bearish trend is really respecting this channel. And what we've got to do is use our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite combined with our new black box breakout indicator and look for potential uh, trades during uh, this bearish move. As we can see, currently we've pulled back on a wave four and we're looking to go short again to this fifth wave target around about $121. Now, I want to use the black box breakout indicator to get in a little bit tighter here. Uh, to get a better risk to reward uh, and just look for that breakout to the downside. But what I'm doing is look, feeling the confidence from that Elliott Wave Indicator Suite in that we are looking for a fifth wave move to the downside. But I want to go for a tight entry and a tight stop using our black box breakout indicator. So we initially we've got a really low target down here around about the middle of that top of our automated target zone there around about 121.75 something like that we've also got to consider that this um, channel from the daily time frame is very strong i've also got a small uh, support resistance zone here as well around about 121 dollars so all these three all these three things coinciding maybe uh, during this week we could see this tested if the markets are bearish but I want to look for a really, really tight entry and tight stop if we uh, are going to go. Now, I've got alternatives for this. If we do gap down uh, on Monday, uh, I could always revert back to the fifth wave trading strategy. But for now, I'm going to look at the black box breakout indicator. Uh, I'm, going to, I'm going to do this two or three times a week and look at swings on other days as well. So let me just switch on the prices for the black box breakout indicator so you'll be able to see them a little better. Let me switch that on there. OK, so with our black box breakout indicator, we're looking at volume and price action. We're looking for squeezers. This is the hourly time frame on Facebook. So we closed on Friday with a potential breakout signal here. Let's go really big uh, at 136.49. OK, with a stop loss at 139.44, I've just gone up, for, I've just rounded that up there. Uh, you can see all the other previous signals on there. But what I do is get rid of those bubbles and concentrate on this particular trade that set up during the last few hours or the last half of Friday on Facebook. So just switch those numbers off again. Again, we with our indicators, we try and make them as adaptable as possible. So. Let's switch those off and let's concentrate on this. Remember, overall, on this intraday time frame, we are in a bear, long bearish trend, respecting a really strong channel. We've just come back and tested our EMA cloud Thursday, Friday after the gap down. And now we're looking for it to come back down on this fifth wave move. And I've got a breakout signal on my black box breakout indicator. So my stop loss is 139.44 for this trade really tight stop loss and this is all part of our indicator suite for the black box breakout indicator and then our entry is really tight again at 136.49 now if it does gap down may need to adjust the um the risk to reward but at this moment in time even to the center line of our strong channel there which does act as support resistance uh we've got a 1 to 1 1.6 into that line during uh, Monday's session. Obviously, if we carry on further down into Tuesday's session, Wednesday's session, we've got a one to two. Depending on how the price action goes when we get to these sort of support levels, depends on whether we take the trade off, start to trade it with a more tighter stop and trying to give it a chance to get through there and hit that fifth wave target. So again, what I've tried to do is combine um, the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite to give me confidence that it's in a long term or a medium term bearish trend for Facebook. Uh, I've taken this channel from the daily time frame, using my multiple time frame strategy, come down to the 60 minute, 
seen where we are we've had a wave four pullback which has tested the upper bound of that channel since then we've pulled down and then we've pulled back up and find a lower resistance level in our ema cloud here then i've used my black box breakout indicator to get that really tight entry and stop there because this is a squeeze this particular candle right here this uh, the second to last hour of the session on friday is a squeeze candle now potentially our signal's still good because we didn't break the stop and we didn't break the entry for that so going into monday's session this is a really really good trade if we don't get down uh, too much and we can get that move down break out to the downside okay so something slightly different today but hopefully you can see how combining our elliott wave indicator suite and our black box breakout indicator that we can see a really strong potential short trade on facebook here also just to remind you our multiple time frame dot cloud will be part of our uh, black box breakout indicator version 2. this shows a really strong bearish trend here on the daily time frame the bottom red dots here we can see this pullback if we pull out a little bit where it goes to cyan and green on these lower time frames so on the four hour the two hour the one hour that sort of thing we see this pullback occurring and then we see this recent pullback is much minor and we are looking to go full red again full bearish so combining all of this gives us a bit of confidence that we are going to go short on facebook okay so that's it for today have a great trading day speak to you all tomorrow